शांतिम चेतसी शास्त्र शीलन परम शीलम सुहृत स्निग्धताम दिव्याम नित्य परोपकार परताम स्वाभाविकी नम्रताम आचार्य शुचिताम वचस्व मृदुताम वृत्तौच निर्व्याजताम एक यदि वाछसी प्रिय सखे सत्यव्रतो दृश्यताम पीस इन माइंड हैबिट ऑफ परसुइंग शास्त्रास अफेक्शन फॉर फ्रेंड्स यूनिक अर्ज टू डू गुड टू अदर्स ऑलवेज द इन बॉर्न ह्यूमिलिटी प्योरिटी इन कंडक्ट सॉफ्टनेस इन स्पीच अप राइटनेस इन बिहेवियर If you have the mind to see all this in one just have a look at Satyavrat This was by Dr Devi Prasad Kharwandikar the editor of the well known Sanskrit magazine Gunjaravah of Ahmednagar Samsap the personality of Professor Satyavrat Shastri the great Sanskrit grammarian scholar and poet in the world of Sanskrit Professor Satyavrat Shastri's name requires no introduction. Only a few Sanskrit scholars in the past or the present have such fame, love, affection and distinction across the globe. Over 90 national and international awards and honors decorate the shelves at his home in New Delhi. He was presented the Sahitya Akademi Award in Sanskrit by the President of India Dr Zakir Hussain in 1968. He was elected unanimously fellow of the Sahitya Akademi in 2013. The same year he was conferred the fellowship by Professor Vishwanath Prasad Tiwari President of the Akademi. Satyavrat Shastri ji ne jo Sanskrit ke आचार्यों और विद्वानों की प्राचीन परंपरा है उस परंपरा में काम किया है तो बड़ा मुश्किल होता है कि कोई व्याकरण का आदमी कविता लिखे पर व्याकरण और काव्य दोनों को शास्त्री जी ने मिला दिया है उन्होंने कविताएं भी लिखी हैं और आलोचना भी लिखी है इन दोनों क्षेत्रों में उनका महत्वपूर्ण योगदान है सत्यव्रत शास्त्री इज नॉट ओनली ए ग्रेट स्कॉलर in india he is equally a great scholar in thailand and many other countries there is not a single seat in this world where sanskrit department is there and where he has not taught he got sahitya academy award at very early age that time he was uh, hardly 36 or 37 years recently a few months back when i was in thailand i met many thai scholars everybody knows him as their own citizen there is no replacement for him is a icon he also received lifetime achievement award from the purbanchal academy of oriental studies kolkata as well as honor from the government of maharashtra he was conferred the gyan peet award the highest literary award of india for his contribution to the enrichment of sanskrit language and literature he is the first literary figure to receive this award in sanskrit The award was presented by Her Royal Highness Maha Chakri Sirin Thorn the Princess of Thailand Dr Satyavrat Shastri is a very remarkable person I think among the people living today he is probably the greatest Sanskrit scholar Dr Satyavrat Shastri has written creative literature mahakavya khandkavya poetry all sorts of genres he has written in Sanskrit and he has been a great teacher of Sanskrit Professor Satyavrat Shastri was born on 29th September 1930. Besides primary schooling, he received his early education in Sanskrit from his father, Sri Charu Deva Shastri, who was himself a renowned Sanskrit scholar of his time. Sir Shastri, can you tell us the inmate secrets of grammar? My father was a grammarian. of repute he was affectionately called as the abhinava panini the modern panini panini is the most celebrated of sanskrit grammarians of india and he had mastered 
his grammar he would make me recite the sutras aphorisms of panini would explain them to me and uh, the words that would be formed with the process that panini had indicated everything he had uh, taught me when i was very young later he was taught by another great master of sanskrit grammar pandit shukdev jha at the pilgrim city of varanasi in that very city he had the opportunity of learning the secrets of the most abstruse of the grammatical philosophical texts of sanskrit the vakya padiya from another master pandit raghunath sharma pande professor satyavrat shastri comes of a family the only one in the whole of india where both the father and the son are the recipients of the president of india certificate of honor the shiromani sanskrit sahityakar award from the government of punjab and the vishisht sanskrit sahitya puraskar from the uttar pradesh sanskrit academy in his own words being the son of a master grammarian of sanskrit affectionately called abhinav parini i was introduced to the most intimate secrets of sanskrit grammar at a very young age at the age of 12 he wrote his first work in sanskrit a 15 stanza poem in 14 meters some of them highly complex with the nomenclature of some of them agreeing with the theme of the verses where they were used noticing it a generalist had remarked the poem had more meters than the author had years to his age ramye ranne sapramadam kamam atanto mandradhvanan vikshupayodan diviramyan nartam nartam charu kalapa mudamapta roru yante mattamayura aviramam professor shastri your first poem shadritu varnam so what inspired you to write this poem it's very difficult to say because i was too young at that time to be in the process of thinking for composing something the poem came out of me of itself you know i would attribute it you know to the impressions of the previous birth the puru janma sanskara as we call it because some of the meters used in the poem are very complex one of them is the meter which has the modulation changed with every line now this is very unusual even for a person of advanced stage sanskrit runs in his blood that is why whenever somebody speaks about sanskrit as archaic or outdated his first reaction is to educate him about its value and utility and the great treasure of knowledge that it embodies first time in the history of the country the gyanpeet award was given to a sanskrit scholar and that is my brother dr satyaraj shastri in his home professor shastri very often converses with his wife in sanskrit his wife shrimati usha is herself a famous sanskrit scholar she got the president of india certificate of honor in 2002 My husband Professor Satyavrat Chatri loves people. He perfectly follows the Sanskrit saying Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam. It means that the whole earth is one home. He loves good food, simple food. Sweets are his favorite. Highlighting the importance of Sanskrit language. Professor Shastri says not only do Indo-Aryan languages derive from Sanskrit the Dravidian languages also have a large content of it not only that the languages of Southeast Asia like Cambodian Thai Lao and Malay have also a large corpus of words of it being the product of both the traditional system of Sanskrit education and its modern counterpart he in a way 
had the best of both the worlds. He learned the intricacies of ancient and modern Sanskrit from some of the leading exponents and scholars of Sanskrit language as well as formal and modern education up to the university level. Professor Shastri had an exceptional academic career. He received record marks in BA Honours examination in Sanskrit. He also stood first class first in MA in Sanskrit from the Punjab University and won university medals. After doing his PhD at the Banaras Hindu University, he joined the University of Delhi where he served for 40 years with unique devotion for which he got from the university the Distinguished Service Award. During the 40 years of his teaching career, there he held important positions as the head of the Department of Sanskrit Language and the Dean of the Faculty of Arts, University of Delhi. Later, he became the Vice Chancellor of Sri Jagannath Sanskrit University, Puri, Odisha, a unique personality. He has the distinction of having been visiting professor in six universities on three continents. Among his many interests, one is visiting different countries and meeting scholars there. My childhood with my father was full of memories, surrounded around work, education, books. He is very passionate about work. The longer he works and the deeper he probes, the happier he becomes and the happier he is the healthier he will remain and the more healthy he is the longer he will live har beti pita ko pyari hoti hai lekin mere ko mere pita ji bahut pyare hain main padhai mein bilkul samanya thi par mere pita ji ki ichha thi ki main bahut zyada padhu pata nahi shayad unki ichha puri karne ke liye bhagwan ne mujhe shakti di ki main aaj itna padh payi aur ek achhi jagah par pradhyapika ban payi uska sara shrey main apne pita ji ko deti hu maha sayak charu chapam namami ramam raghuvanshanatham namami ramam he has attended and cheered a number of national and international conferences and seminars and delivered hundreds of lectures in universities in Europe, North America, Southeast Asia and the Far East. The memories that I have of Papa the early years and now is that he would only work and research and study and write. For the rest of the family it was a great inspiration. That was a way of life for everybody. So I also got into the same mold. He's very fond of having people over, but for very short durations of time. Most of his time goes for his work. Since childhood, I've been so inspired by my grandfather. He's always taught me a lot of shlokas. He was one of the inspirations why I took Sanskrit in class 9 and 10 and managed to get very good marks. First person I came to was my grandfather. I showed him my marks. He has written three Mahakavyas in Sanskrit. They are of about a thousand stanzas each and have become subjects for research for the PhD and DLIT degrees in many Indian universities. He has also written three Khandakavyas, one Prabandhakavya and one Patrakavya in two volumes and more than 20 works in critical writing in Sanskrit. His most important works are Ramakirti Mahakavyam, Brihattaram Bharatam, Shri Bodhi Sattva Charitam, Sharmanya Deshaha, Sutaram Vibhati, The Ramayana, A Linguistic Study, Studies in Sanskrit and Indian Culture in Thailand, 
and discovery of Sanskrit treasures in seven volumes. His commitment to the secular values and national integration can be gauged from such works of his as contribution of Muslims to Sanskrit and modern Christian literature in Sanskrit. He has written many great poetic works in Sanskrit. One of the most important ones among them is his rendition of the Thai version of the Ramayana into Sanskrit titled Sri Ramakirti Mahakavyam. The work has already been translated in six Indian languages Tamil, Assamese, Telugu, Kannada, Gujarati, and Hindi. Dr. Shastri has been a bridge between India and Thailand, um, not only in terms of language but also people to people exchanges because he was one of the few professors who was here uh, in the 70s and again through the 80s and 90s. Of course, Princess Sirindhan used to be a student of his. His latest works, of course, are based on the Thai inscriptions. The concept of human values, uh, which is very important to Thai people, uh, has further cemented these ties. He's accompanied his teachings along with his creative writing and also reinterpretation of the old texts which means a lot of hard, hard work because it's not easy to do all that. Uh, spend a lot of energy and time uh, often at the cost of his own health. Of all the places in the world, Thailand has a very special place in his heart. He has spent a considerable period of his amazing scholarly career there and has written a number of books both in prose and poetry on different aspects of Thai culture. On September 27, 2013, two of his books were released in Bangkok by Her Royal Highness Mahachakri Sirinthorn, Princess of Thailand. Professor Satya Prot Chatri was the Sanskrit teacher to our princess. We have this tradition of respecting all our teachers and Her Royal Highness has no less that feeling towards Professor throughout his life. He had dedicated himself. A day after that, on September 28, 2013, a seminar on his life and works were held at the Indian Culture Center, where 18 scholars, both from India and Thailand, participated. His current research projects are the Sanskrit inscriptions and Hindu temples of Thailand, Kali Dasa studies and the Rama story in Southeast Asia. In his pursuit of knowledge, he has embraced people of all religions and creeds, Hindus, Muslims, Jains, Sikhs, Christians and Buddhists etc. For a long time, he was the president of Genealogical Research Society of India. His famous Sanskrit Mahakavya, epic poem, Sri Bodhi Sattva Charitam, is based on the theme of the Buddhist Jatakas. Sir, uh, your work, uh, Contribution of Muslims to Sanskrit, Christian Literature in Sanskrit, you have done a lot. What made you do this, sir? I wanted to dispel the notion. You know that uh, Sanskrit is uh, confined only to a particular uh, community or a particular group uh, of the people in that community. Christians have contributed, you know, very significantly. So have the Muslims, you know. He has composed the first ever biography of Guru Gobind Singh, the 10th Sikh Guru in Sanskrit verse. It is this biographical work that won him the Sahitya Academy Award in 1968 at the age of 37. Satya Shastriji's life and works is something worth emulating. He is doing a project on Sanskrit uh, inscriptions in Thailand. At this stage of life, at this age, he is going around collecting inscriptions, transcribing them. One is really astonished by his energy. Delhi Nagarya Mahaniya Murtit 
विपश्चिताम प्राग्रहर कवीश गीर्वाण वाणी परिशोधनायाम सत्यव्रतो नित्यरतश्च कास्ते a great glorious figure in the city of delhi a leading scholar and a poet satyavrat shines bright as he is ever engaged in his sanskrit research these lines of the late dr b r shastri are certainly an eloquent tribute to his life long dedication to the sanskrit language nashayantam महो दधिचापि समेधय भूतानी सर्वाणी विराजय ददर्श शीतांशुमता प्रोफेसर सत्यव्रत शास्त्री हेज रिसीव्ड अवार्ड्स एंड एक्ट्स फ्रॉम थ्री जनरेश ऑफ लीडर्स हू इंक्लूड मिसेस विजया लक्ष्मी पंडित डॉक्टर जाकिर हुसैन श्रीमती इंदिरा गांधी डॉक्टर ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम एंड श्रीमती प्रतिभा पाटिल इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी नाइन ही वॉज कॉन्फर्ड द प्रेस्टिजियस पद्मश्री अवार्ड बाय द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया के आर नारायणन लेटर ही रिसीव्ड इवन द मोर प्रेस्टिजियस पद्म भूषण अवार्ड इन टू थाउजेंड टेन फ्रॉम श्रीमती प्रतिभा पाटिल प्रोफेसर शास्त्री हैज टू वर्ड visiting many countries teaching classes delivering lectures meeting scholars and having discussing with them his experience as a philologist his sensibility as a poet and a man of letters are exceptional so the art of the poetry which you mastered is compared to the poetry of kalidasa people call you kalidasa of modern times how do you acknowledge your work and this acknowledgement by the people i consider myself to be a humble devotee at the shrine of saraswati this is how i would like to describe myself i am always in the process of learning because gyanam anantam knowledge is endless i feel very much obliged to the people who describe me the way they do it is their assessment of me my assessment of my own self is that i am a constant you know researcher i am always eager to learn more and more you know. besides this you have been the royal teacher for the princes of thailand how you became the royal teacher destiny willed it that way i didn't seek it and i didn't even have the knowledge of it that i would be called upon to teach her royal highness the princess of thailand but it just came Destiny has many surprises. <laughs> This is one of those. Sir, you have been a critic and a creative writer. How do you like to be acknowledged as a critic or a creative writer? Both, but more as a creative one. It is the creative faculty which uh, is difficult. The answer to your query has been very well provided by one of our ancient rhetoricians. His name is Bhama. In his Kavya Lankar he says Kavyant tu jayate jatu kasichit pratibhavata Panditya that is possible with effort one can cultivate it but uh, the creative faculty one cannot cultivate you know. it is self born He is currently an honorary professor at the Special Center for Sanskrit Studies Jawaharlal Nehru University New Delhi It's been a privilege uh, for me to have known professor satyavrat shastri his contributions to the field of sanskrit itself and a lot of literary work which he has done immense amount of literature which one person has produced is unthinkable and uh, we are very privileged that uh, he is associated in jnu with the center for sanskrit studies and to interact with him you can find out the kind of a personality and the encyclopedia which he is in his own field of studies he is also professor emeritus at the university of delhi this university has been very fortunate that uh, professor satyavat was a member of the faculty here a very distinguished member he stands almost unrivaled in the realm of sanskrit today and it isn't just sanskrit so if you look at his contributions 
They are almost unmatched if you look at any other realm of literature, be it English or Hindi. Professor Satyavrat seems to stand apart. He has been a pathfinder. He has been someone who has shown us the way. He has been someone who has inspired us. And this university is justifiably very, very proud of him. He is also Chairman, Second Sanskrit Commission, Government of India. Awards and honors continue coming to him. The latest being Sanskrit God of Samman from the All India Sanskrit Sahitya Sammelan, New Delhi, and Vidwat Saparya from Rashtriya Sanskrit Sansthan, New Delhi. Even at the ripe age of 85, his pen moves on. The year 2014, three works, Sanskrit Inscriptions of Thailand, Introducing Sanskrit Literature, and Bhavita Vyanam Dwarani Bhavanti Sarvatra, an autobiography in Sanskrit, have been published. Though he is equally devoted to all his researches and works, the book on human values seems to be the closest to his heart. He has traced definitions of them from ancient works which had entailed study on his part of hundreds and hundreds of ancient works. He is still deep into many researches in many fields of Sanskrit language. His colorful literary and scholarly journey continues with the same commitment as it had begun with his first poem in Sanskrit at the age of 12.